It is generally believed that an airport is crucial to generating the first impression of a city and country. The African market is particularly fascinating in the sense that aviation traffic is predicted to quadruple in the next 20 years. While their skies are by no means among the busiest in the world, most African countries have experienced a surge in demand for air travel over the first two decades of the 21st century. Africa comprises approximately 15% of the world population, but only 2% of the global air traffic. For many major airlines, strong profit and sustained passenger growth make Africa an attractive market. And now, with traffic likely to tremble in the coming years, Africa will not only draw more stakeholders, airlines, investors and financiers, but also the whole corporate world. Interestingly, Africa is a market similar to the size of China, yet it's a high-growth market fueled by a fast-growing middle class. There is a big percentage of individuals who are willing to travel, and the airlines have acknowledged that. While the concept of low-cost airlines is relatively new to the African market, we're seeing a lot of action in this sector. Having understood that the African populace prefers air travel, but at low costs, more and more low-cost airlines have started operations, and this sector is likely to increase. Planes need a primarily flat place to land. People need a location to congregate before hopping on that next aircraft. In Europe, a refreshment is more typically an upgrade of technology, while dealing in Africa implies generally looking at the airport from scratch with a greenfield airport or updating and modernizing an existing airport. The challenge in Africa is still the lack of money. If this is improved in Africa, also trends towards private-public cooperation in airport development, then Africa will have a significant market because all these airports would demand the latest state-of-the-art equipment. They will rebuild the full airfield lighting systems and tower systems and will opt for current technologies like the docking systems. And with all these developments, we predict a large rise in the market. With Nigeria's thriving economy, expanding middle class, and homegrown major airlines such as Eric Air, Bellevue Airlines, and Aero Contractors, there is a greater demand for air travel, but the country's airports are struggling to keep up. For ages, the country has had only one international airport, which it shares with another West African country, but it has reached its capacity of 2 million passengers per year. However, this is about to change. The Nigerian government is currently building a brand new international airport in Lekki to meet the country's growing demand for air travel and reduce its reliance on Lagos Airport. Welcome to Thinkrich Africa, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business and personal development content to inform, motivate and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe that entrepreneurship rather than global pity is the key to Africa's growth and development. So if you're African and you aren't subscribed to our community, you're missing out. Lekki International Airport is going to be the first airport in Lekki, which is located on Lagos Island, cited to be adjacent to Alaro City. The airport will be a Code F compliant airport compliant because it will be designed to accommodate the Airbus F380. An airport terminal building, air traffic control facilities, airfield ground illumination, aircraft ground services, and navigation air and ground services are all included in the first phase of the airport's development, which is estimated to cost well over $400 million. Since ideas were initially presented in 2011, it had a four-year completion timeframe, but early sponsors declined to participate. The Lagos state government had chosen Stambic IBTC Bank to act as a financial advisor for the first phase of the proposed Lekki Eib International Airport project, which was estimated to cost $450 million. The first phase of construction at the airport, which is situated 10 kilometers away from the Lekki Free Trade Zone, consists of the construction of an airport terminal building in addition to air traffic control facilities, airfield ground lighting, and aircraft ground services for navigation and air travel. 
The Lagos Airport Development Committee had earlier invited proposals for the development of Phase I in the context of a concession agreement that would allow the concessionaire to design, build, finance, operate, and maintain the airport for a period of up to 25 years. The chief executive officer of Stambic IBTC Bank, Sola David Borja, made the following statement at the time. The project reinforces the bank's long-standing partnership with the LIGO state government in the area of infrastructure development, which is informed by the knowledge that infrastructure is the foundation on which socioeconomic development is built. The LIGO state government is still searching for investors and has invited bid tenders, to which a total of 33 companies, both Nigerian and international, have responded. When the Dangote refinery, Alarosity, and the other multiple billion dollar industries in the other free trade zones are completed, along with the commercialization that will result from the expansion of the road from two, we have every reason to believe that the Leki Ibe International Airport would not only be an attractive investment, but an absolute necessity. Leki is a Lagos district with almost no natural resources. Why would anyone construct an airport there? Understanding what makes a good airport location leads to the answer. Building an airport entails more than just constructing runways and terminals. Many factors influence whether an area is suitable or unsuitable for the location of an airport, including noise pollution, access to services, and the availability of land for future expansion. A new airport will also help to relieve congestion at Lagos International Airport, which is already operating at capacity. Lackey International Airport is being built outside of Lagos as part of a larger redevelopment project that includes a shopping mall, residential areas, hotels, offices, restaurants, and other commercial properties. The project as a whole is expected to generate thousands of jobs and have a positive economic impact on the area. The new airport is just one of many infrastructure projects being undertaken by the Nigerian government to meet the needs of its rapidly growing population. Nigeria is the most populous country in Africa, with a population of over 180 million people, and is expected to become the third most populous country in the world by 2050. As the country grows, it is obvious that its infrastructure will need to expand as well. With the completion of this project, the country will be better prepared to deal with the rising demand for air travel. Let us look more closely at why Nigeria is building Leki International Airport. The Lagos state government initiated the new international airport project in Ibju Leki in response to the large number of people streaming into and out of Lagos, as well as the strain on the city's sole existing airport. The new international airport development project at the Leki Ibe axis is currently underway in Ep, Nigeria, east of Lagos. It is located next to Alaro City, which is conveniently located on the Leki Ibe Expressway, giving it easy access to Lagos and the rest of Nigeria. Economic development is critical to our economic growth because it creates high-wage jobs and improves people's quality of life. The Lagos state government has planned another major means of creating, attracting, and retaining jobs in the new Ibju Leki development axis, thereby making lives easier. While the role of economic developers is frequently overlooked, it is an important component of a healthy economy and society to create and maintain major development for a region. As a result, the goal of constructing an international airport in Leki Ibe was established to spur development, relieve congestion at Murtala Muhammad International Airport in Akija, and serve the rapidly growing area of Lagos State. The master plan is complete, and the airport site on 3,500 acres has been secured. The airport is designed to handle 5 million passengers per year, with additional capacity for growth in the future. The first phase of the Leki Airport project is expected to cost $450 million, with the airport located 10 kilometers from the Leki Free Trade Zone. It will be built to accommodate the Airbus of 380, the world's largest passenger airliner, and will be a Code F compliant airport. The airport had still not opened by 2019, owing to funding difficulties. The new airport will relieve congestion at the aging Murtala Muhammad International Airport while also serving the rapidly expanding industrial Leki District, the Leki Deep Seaport, 
Dangote's 650,000 barrels per day refinery. The Lekki Free Zone and other locations, which are major hubs in the Axis. The Lekki Free Zone, which was established in 2006, is a modern free zone that follows international best practices. Alero City is located in the Lekki Free Zone's northwest quadrant in Lagos, Nigeria. The city is conveniently located on the Lekki Eep Expressway, providing easy access to Lagos and the rest of Nigeria. To the south of the city, the largest deep sea port in West Africa is now under construction. Dangote Refinery is the continent's largest oil refinery, being constructed by Alhaji Aliko Dangote, Africa's richest man. Lekki Seaport, the largest deep water port in West Africa, is also being built, allowing exports to West Africa and beyond. Local and international investors are flocking to the zone. All these projects will support commercial growth and encourage even more property development in Ibju Lekki. In addition, the refinery and petrochemical park is expected to meet all Nigeria's needs for refined products with a surplus for exports. The Lagos state government has stated that it is actively collaborating with the Federal Airport Authority of Lagos on the development of the Lekki Eep International Airport to enhance activity in the zone and provide alternative air transport services in the state. The state government has successfully received the Federal Ministry of Aviation site approval for the airport and the master plan for the 3,500 hectares of land set aside for the project has been finished. Remember that the Lagos state government established a technical committee to study the Lekki Comprehensive Master Plan 2021 to 2041, which is one of the state's four major economic corridors. However, when commenting on the development, Olajuwon stated that the cargo airport is still on the ground level since a feasibility study is being conducted. The Lekki Eep International Airport is expected to handle roughly 5 million passengers per year, with a modular terminal that may be expanded in the future. The preliminary construction on the airport project has begun with the clearing of 150 hectares, 4.5 kilometers of the access road, and 9 kilometers of perimeter road. The Lands Bureau has finished the crop enumeration process on the designated airport site, allowing compensation payments to impacted landowners and farmers to proceed. The proposed airport will be developed and controlled by private investors, following the present administration's strategy on public-private partnerships. A team of local and internationally acclaimed consultants, including Stanbic IBTC, Financial Advisors, Arup PTI, Technical Consultants, Norton Rose, Offshore Legal Consultants, and Banwo and Egodalo, local legal consultants, has been engaged to handle the process of selecting private investors to develop and manage the airport. Aside from its primary function, the new airport will improve residential and commercial infrastructure. Ijuleki is on track to become a commercial destination, thanks to the rapid expansion of infrastructure and developments such as retail outlets, malls, and hotels, schools, entertainment zones, and restaurants. This level of development ensures a high standard of living, as well as access to high-end services and amenities. Lekki Vale Estate provides first-rate amenities such as a community center, swimming pools, a sports arena, a gym, and green zones. Ibju Lekki has already received significant projects, such as the Free Trade Zone, bringing it one step closer to becoming Africa's next commercial hub. The new international airport in Lekki Ipi will benefit both residents and the state government of Lagos. Also, as an improvement to the state's economy. Other advantages include opportunities for investment, because this massive development will provide numerous opportunities for secure and long-term investment. However, before you start signing checks, you should understand the importance of land titles and pricing. Although your agent may tell you that a gazette or excision in a procedure is a done deal and that you don't need to worry, if you understand how the Nigerian system works, you'll understand that there is no guarantee until you have proper documentation. Living near an airport has its perks and cons. On the plus side, plane travel will be incredibly convenient and you'll be able to save substantial time. On the flip side, noise, pollution, and health dangers could be very serious problems depending on the closeness to the airport, 
how busy it is the flight paths, and even the type of aircraft utilized. Lecky Vale Estate at Ivju Lecky gives you a one-time offer to join the rise of the new class of millionaires, billionaires, and landlords in Lagos. Properties on an airport's outskirts can appreciate by up to 40% in the first few years after the airport's completion, and the rate rises to around 80% once the airport's operations are fully operational. Once landed property is strategically placed near an airport to reap all of the benefits while remaining far enough away to avoid the drawbacks of living too close to an airport, such as noise pollution and potential health consequences. The additional benefit of convenience raises housing costs. As a result, investors in the area will benefit greatly from this. However, the most recent development has faced numerous challenges in the past. For example, consider the month of May 2015. The Lekki-Eep International Airport development is reportedly stalled due to local landowner opposition to the land acquisition process, as well as delays in investors committing to airport financing. Former LAGO State Commissioner for Commerce and Industry Sola Awaru acknowledged that the state government is looking for investors and that construction will resume once new funding is secured. The state administration is also returning to 98 local villages, some of the lands as purchased for a planned perimeter road. Meanwhile, the project has been steadily progressing. Thank you for your time. If you have any tips that you think should be included in this video, please leave a comment and let us know. Help us grow our channel. We hope you found this video helpful. Support us by liking the video, subscribing, and turning on notifications.